Yo, what's up guys, welcome to the video on the Anchorage channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys the best bosses to farm for the best equipment inside of Arcane Odyssey. Now, before I start this video, I just want to say a like means so much to me. Let's see if we can get to 200 likes in this video. Back onto the video. Alright, so the first boss I'm going to be talking about is Cernix. Now, if you guys did not know, Cernix is found on the forest of Senu... Ser... Ser... Nuno. Why is it spelled like that? And what this boss focuses on, so he drops a bunch of different stuff, obviously all the armor and all that stuff. But the thing that he focuses on is defense. Now, he has a bit of agility as well, but he focuses mainly on defense. Really good boss drop is the folds that he drops. Now, folds, if you guys don't know, are like shoulder pads, that kind of things, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, he gives, it gives like around 200 defense or more. So, extremely good. I'm gonna put a screen. Um, I'm gonna put a screenshot on the screen right here, just showing all of the drops that he can drop, and obviously I'll be showing the folds as well. But yeah, overall, it's really good defense armor. Honestly, on this list, the folds are the only thing that you might be wanna like be using in like your dream inventory. But yeah, the folds are a really good item, and uh, yeah, I recommend getting them if you do not have them already. All right, next we have King Calvis. Now, in my opinion, King Calvis is probably one of the best bosses on this list because honestly, you will be using mostly King Calvis stuff. Now, his armor is extremely good. His armor is like late game armor. Like, if you're going to rock any armor, if you finish the game, there's armor you're going to look for. I actually have this armor. Uh, I don't really focus too much on armor, all that kind of stuff on this slot. As you guys see, I do have the Raven of Fallen King armor. Obviously, it focuses mainly on power, attack size, and agility. But power is basically the main reason why we want it. Because obviously, power is what increases damage on all your moves and, we and weapons and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, honestly, best armor in the game for power is extremely really really solid armor overall and yeah this is literally the armor you're, you're gonna need so you're gonna have to farm until you get armor or you can obviously trade for these pieces of armor if you do have any high valued items and you also king gavis does have a lot of good accessories as well if you aren't already using any accessories i'm not using the accessories but he has a cape and i'm pretty sure he has yeah he has a crown as well and he's obviously like i said focused more on power there are other things other accessories like from lady karina that i'll be mentoning later on in the video that do give more power but if you guys the access but just to mention obviously the accessories are also extremely good to have um and yeah they're extremely decent overall and yeah that's basically it for king calvis all right moving on i'm gonna be speaking about lord elias now this might be a bit surprising to you guys you'll probably be confused why but basically if you guys do not know the storm scrimmeters i don't really have them on this slot i'm pretty sure oh no i do yeah as you guys see the storm scrimmeters this is an item that can be dropped by him now, what's so good about these items is that they're literally if you're you can use this in your build at the very end of the game even though it's uh, literally i'm pretty sure like the first boss you fight the swords are extremely good and a lot of people main them even when they've got 100 uh, uh max level really good conjure weapon really good warrior weapon overall i recommend these weapons a lot if you guys have not already farm elias if you guys are max level and you have these swords and you're thinking of picking them up uh yeah the boss is extremely easy like i'm pretty sure he has I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's around, what, 2.5k HP or something like that? This boat is so annoying, I'm sorry. Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, the boss has around 2.5k HP. So, yeah, I honestly recommend picking him up. It's literally like a, when you're max level, just do like three abilities and the guy's dead. So, extremely easy to farm for these swords. Extremely solid swords overall. Ah, uh, yeah, the boss drops are kind of weird in this game as well. Because it's like, a really weak boss can literally do like, can, really, can like literally give you like a really OP item. So, yeah, the boss drops are kind of unequal. So, even though I might say a boss... That you guys think is might like quite weak and quite early game the drops on all the bosses are kind of like equal in strength basically to an extent i forgot to mention with the lord elias his armor also is pretty good early game so if you guys are early game maybe around level 70 and under yeah if you guys do pick up his armor it can last you really long a really long time until obviously you get to the next boss which is argos which then argos's armor is, is better over the armor is actually decent so if you guys don't really have it and you're quite early game and you find it quite easy to farm Lord, El uh, Lord Elias, then yeah, you might as well go for the armor as well. All right, moving on. Fi now, finally, we do have Lady Karina. Now, if you guys did not know, Lady Karina focuses on power. She has the best accessories in the game. And yeah, her pauldrons and bracelets are the best drops. Now, her armor isn't too great. Her armor is okay, but overall, it just isn't like amazing. And yeah, she's not an extremely hard boss. If you guys are max level, then uh, yeah, it will be not... I wouldn't necessarily say easy, but it is kind of easy in a way like it's, it's like normal difficulty it's not as hard as king calvis at all but yeah, as you guys see i'm actually using our drops right now and these are her best drops these are like the best like power build kind of drops right here so obviously you can have an arc sphere instead but just for default stuff her braces that she drops extremely good and her pauldrons are extremely good and obviously i'm rocking the power amulet as well um yeah but our pauldrons are probably the best drops she drops this i'm pretty sure can be replaced with like an arc sphere but yeah this itself extremely good overall and yeah, you're going to want to get these pauldrons. They're literally like in every single late game build. 
uh yeah they're basically like a needs for a high a high game and yeah obviously she doesn't drop any weapons because i mean yeah she just drops no weapons all right but yeah this is gonna be it for the video hope you guys enjoy uh yeah if you're wondering what happened to like my daily uploading on this game uh this game's literally running out of content like crazy so it's kind of hard to find a video idea if you guys do want to give me some more video ideas that you guys do want to see on my channel make sure you tell me in the comments i do check every single one of your comments if you don't think it's being checked then say something like heart my comment and then i'll heart it just for proof that i check my comments and yeah anyway that's basically the video hope you guys enjoy if you did hit that like button hit the subscribe button obviously like i said trying to get 200 likes this video also join discord and be hosting a huge arcane odyssey giveaway at 5k subs so uh yeah that's it for the video peace out boys